Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Visiting the Citadel for plenty of... I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Because apparently nobody catches on that every store on the Citadel says that. Yep. I do kind of... I wish there was an actual... An actual quest or penalty or something for this <laughs> for doing that on every story. It would be funny, yes. It's literally a penalty for shilling too much. <laughs> <coughs> Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. <coughs> okay, GameStop. Two credits. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. Yeah, good luck trying to play a game one-handed. It says something about the combats in this game when it says they're pretty realistic, but it's still fun. I mean, realistic can be fun, sort of, if you're into that. Yes. For us, especially, for us, yeah, like, actual wars, but I remember, for there's this, like, how many kilometers for the Klaus encounters? I mean, listen. For what it. can I do for you? <coughs> Fuck off. I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like CSEC, can walk out with them. Fair enough. Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it. Mm. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shafa for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. You see it. Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. Okay, then. Some people are into that. might be a little tame for me. <laughs> tame? A human can hardly take down a feral veron, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I can convince you to record an advertisement for me. At least this time sure you still. <laughs> a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. No, oh, just all the different kinds of no, shops. No, just all the other kinds of shops. Hey, Ran, remember the comment about we've got plenty of credits? Never mind then. Uh huh. So we'll hold off on some of this stuff for now. Come back later. So, what do you think? Yeah. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store <laughs> in the Citadel. He works fast. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, what else is around here? It was pretty excited, though. Okay. I think that's most of the stuff we can do here right now, actually. We'll hit rapid transit. For 10 credits, we offer data protection for any game we sell. If the copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download a new copy free. Uh huh. Yeah, that's pretty much all the other stuff. Uh, let's head on out. Still plenty to do. So much to do. And they really, uh, they really improved upon the, uh, Minor cutscenes, didn't they? 
it's, like, it's like after the success of the first one, uh, EA just decided Matter, to uh, a new message at your throw party. money at them and say, here, make a game. Sounds so <laughs> well, right? From Samesh Bhatia. Hey, I remember him. Uh, towards the beginning of the game, when we first come to the Citadel, he's the man who was asking us about his wife's body. Um. Mr. Udina offered to pass on a message for me. I wish to again express my thanks for your assistance in retrieving my wife's body. When nothing can ever banish the pain of losing Narali, being able to see that her body was treated properly helped me more, helped me more than you can imagine. I opened the restaurant that my wife always wished to start back on Earth. Narali's picture hangs on the wall, and Alliance soldiers eat for free. It is the least I can do to honor the courage with which both you and my wife have served humanity. Sincerely, Samesh Bhatia. <coughs> yeah? Fun. It's kind of nice getting all these little messages from minor characters we helped along the way. Yeah, pretty nice. You're not dead. From Emily Wong, that reporter. Not the, not the one that uh, interviewed us, but uh, when we gave data files to. Um, you're alive? No, not the asshole one. Yeah, you're alive? How come you broke your, broke whatever cover you've been under for two years but didn't offer an exclusive interview to your favorite reporter? Whenever you come up for air and are ready to talk, let me know. Speaking of which, that did remind me. We did miss one thing on the Citadel. Don't punch Kalish Bishin Aljani. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll get her later. Yeah, I'll come back. Oh, believe me, we have reasons. We have reasons to come back. Yeah. We could go ahead and do Kasumi's mission. Why not? So, so we could do that, or we could do some of this other stuff. What do you think? Eh, let's go do Kasumi's mission because I'm curious. All right, a uh, heist also, it is. Also, also because she's sassy as hell. I like her. <laughs> Will it one have capacity? Yes, Ed. I know we're low on fuel. I think it kicks you back to um the uh the oh shit the relay system <laughs> and I found out even if you're if you're it takes a lot of effort to do it but if you manage to run out of credits um and need to reach a uh system outside of a relay system and have no fuel, like for story, you just can buy fuel for free. Huh. The developers won't, uh, set it to where you couldn't soft lock yourself like that. That's nice. Man, this is a whole lot easier than just than having to, you know, roll around in the Mako and, uh... Right. Okay. Hmm, weird. I'm hearing... I'm hearing a thing like I'm coming up on a planet, but it's not popping up anything. Yeah, you don't recognize those sounds. I do. Keep hitting tab, thinking it's back, and it's not. Thank too much, pilot. Shut up. Probe launched. I mean, yeah, it's poor overall, but... Yeah. Start scan. That is the wrong... Uh, well, it's, it's with the other resources we won't be having Chase already. Possibly. Yes, however... To me, out of level up. This shall not be easy. Oh you clean up well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. Hawk won't know what hit him. I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover. You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. <laughs> Remind me, 
What kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? No. You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. I'm good. No thanks. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting right. patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. That's how it works. This is our stop. After you, Mr. Gunn. Uh, just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. Solomon Gunn. A pleasure. <coughs> no. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. Jeez, I'm uncertain. We'll yep. keep radio contact. We'll find that way. Yeah, through the front door. <laughs> we need to find the door and case Fair security. Enough. Yeah, that works. How did you ever contain that situation in the hall? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam! Done. Thank goodness. I thought those rabble would dog you for years. This thing? That goes to a security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Let's case the vault and figure out- Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. <coughs> it's wishful thinking at best. Indeed. Sure. Very wishful thinking. We'll do it that later. Say, what's that? Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Wow. Who's his architect? This is a very impressive place. A very large one, at least. Hmm. Almost looks like we could get over there somehow. Hmm. Data pad? Where? I saw data pad. Where is it? I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. Oh, here it is. Forever Reams. 
No way we can sneak out of that party. The place is locked down tight, and Security Chief Rowe's in charge. No way Rowe would let that get past her. I'd rather stand around bored on guard duty than risk her wrath. Sorry. Samuels. Chief Rowe, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. Hmm. If we could tap into the guard's communications, I could probably use this information. What's your read on that Archangel guy? Huh? I hear he's dead. Or gone, or something. Good riddance, I say. Hmm. <laughs> Indeed. Now where's the vault again? I for ah. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. <laughs> Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. <laughs> we'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it, KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. <clears throat> All right then. Oh, would you look oh. at that? Power cables. Mm -hmm. She's not even confident. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. That works. Nothing to see here. I need to get around that. Get around him. Come on, tell me you saw you saw that as soon as you saw the statue. One sec. Oh. <laughs> that should take care of the barrier. The random fireplace in the middle of the books didn't stand out. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> Way too fake. All right, let's talk to this guy. Mr. Gunn, hope you're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gunn, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me, and you, are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. Uh-huh. They merely kept on talking. Loves to hear his own voice. Indeed. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. Let me unlock that security room door for you. There we go. Nobody thinks anything about me walking right in. Ready when you are. Is the password here? Skipping these again. See that? Why am I using the wrong pistol? Oh. Nance, 
I have that problem too. Too many passwords around here. Can't keep them straight. The password for tonight is Perugia. So it's not even that easy to remember. It's no big deal. The voice scanner means the password's only useful to hawk anyway. After this party, wanna grab some beers? Let me know. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped into their communications. Maybe it'll come in handy. It's annoying. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scatter. Hey, Maddie did him. Hey, credits. And you know, having a master... A masterpiece pretty much opening everything for us is... Uh, pretty common. Oh, and like... When I was sad going to say it here. This is why to not get spotted doing something you should be doing. It's not look like you shouldn't be doing it. True. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. Well, we tapped our communications. I have clearance to go in. Which means we have clearance. On whose authority? I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Okay, you're clear to go in. Enjoy the party. Yeah. Good Tap the channels is the same thing as clearance, right? Look for anything we can use usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. Right. Quick and quiet. Okuda decryption project update. Little progress to report. We, ne we have now com completed dictionary attacks using words and phrases from 4,800 galactic languages. Research into the Okuda family has not produced any matches. It is unlikely that a random brute force approach will produce results within our lifetimes. Given the nature of Greybox technology, it's possible that the decryption key may not be a password at all. It could be a memory, an emotion, even a smell. Permutations could be infinite. I suggest that we begin investigating alternative methods for breaking through the security on the box. We can probably get home yeah, to the be... He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. Hmm. No DNA. Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. And that could be end of my <laughs> Found a sample? No. A credit shit. <laughs> One credit. <laughs> it's clean. It's a plant. It's clean. It's a plant. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. More credits? You won't notice if we clean them out, will you? No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. That should do it. Let's get out of here. And that should do everything we need. Yep. <coughs> what, was what was that about this thing related? <laughs> Who would have thought Shepard would be great at heists? I mean... He does have that John Doe hairstyle look. Not really like any. Hmm. Hell, if his hair was just a bit shorter, he'd be uh, agent. What well, was his name? <laughs> uh, fucking hitman. That got it. Yeah. The barrier's down. <laughs> to be fair, that's the hairstyle I picked. There's a bunch of others. I know. Just, Password required. You know. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Some missing. Some missing. Context, I guess. Yeah. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. <laughs> mm. 
You don't see anything. Ah, something a bit more comfortable. Now I have proper gun. Let's go. This is a bit of stuff. That's how I put it. So this is Hawk's vault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. <coughs> Michelangelo's David. That's a famous one. Michelangelo's David. Yeah, that's uh... Wow. Think we could get this out through the door? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. Rachni Queen statue. Ugh. Rachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. Turian sculpture. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like much, but that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. Turian art is rare outside of Palavin. For good <laughs> reason, I say. <laughs> For good reason. I was never much into <laughs> modern art. Uh, all right, Garros was that good. Yeah. This is nice. So you have to a bit of issue remembering which is which song. Yeah. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. We're gonna have to fight that thing at some point. I think. Actually, I think that's something from Dragon Age. Oh. <laughs> I'm almost disappointed. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. Hmm. So what, did they get some by a space size book? Uh. That's a Casa Locust. No, THE Casa Locust. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. Now what's this? Let's look at the rest of the stuff, shall we? This is a Warian script. Wow. This has got to be old. When was the last time the Quarians wrote on stone? Oh <coughs> no, sure. That's they can't afford the stone in. Not sure what it is, though. <laughs> it's impressive. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Egyptian statue. I could still get money for something like this, even outside the Alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. <laughs> Good point. We've seen these before. Yep. Indeed we have. I like the way she delivers that line. And now for probably the most impressive thing in this entire place. What? <laughs> Statue of Liberty head. Okay. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! <laughs> it's even worth a codex entry. Well, of course. <sighs> yeah. How did it even fit in? The Statue of Liberty was the target of several terrorist attacks over its 210-year 200 year lifetime. But in 2096, a motley group called Freedom's Fit First finally brought the statue down. Protesting the induction of Canada and Mexico into the United North American States, <coughs> the New York chapter of Freedom First wanted a symbol that they would succeed from this new union if necessary. 
In the early morning hours of November 1st, they smuggled small arms and 15.5 tons of high explosive onto Liberty Island. Shooting or capturing the guards, they planted the explosives under the pedestal and detonated them at 7.37 a.m. The statue crashed to the ground in pieces, unexpectedly killing four Freedom First terrorists. The remaining team members were apprehended after long manhunts, but the damage was done. The outrage at the secessionists kindled the fires of the Second American Civil War. On November 4th, President Caitlin Chung signed an executive order to rebuild the statue. Approximately one-tenth of the steel beams and copper plating from the destroyed statue was recovered and used in creating the new one. The original's head was put on display at the National Museum of American History in Washington, D.C. It remained there for two years until the Battle of Washington. During heavy shelling by secessionist forces, the head disappeared. A new statue was completed in 2101, and the fate of the original pieces was left for speculation in pulp novels. Interest flared up briefly in 2159 when photos surfaced of the head and the cargo hold of a star freighter. But by that time, human media were far more concerned with the future. In the face of humanity spreading out among thousands of new planets, a statue titled Liberty Enlightening the World seems small and quaint by comparison. Yeah. Well, found it! Yeah, we did indeed. <laughs> Don't bother Miss Goto. It's cold locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming, just like nah. your old friend. Let's see you try. This is where your special skills come into play, Shepard. Let's do this. <laughs> where it's so easy, huh? Lock and loaded. Oh, look, Chief Rowe. Oh, you feel sleepy. Dead. Oh. <laughs> Backstabbed and shot in the head. Did you not notice her from behind? No, she kind of flashed me sometimes. Um, I guess she just won't take your body one. That's like her signature move, so. Oh, that's the name. Now, why does a flashbang affect you if you're behind cover? I don't know. Oh. Checking blueprints. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in. Now. I was like, can we talk about the fact that his giant projected head, with the way the shadows were cast on it, looked just like a uh, devil head? <laughs> yeah, can uh, Okay, she's got the locust. That is like the best SMG in the game. And I can't even use it. You see that? Hello, gentlemen. How about I just raise a barrier and say no to that? That had to hurt. Yeah, but you need to actually look away from uh, the grenade. Miss me. Come on, gotta run out of ammo eventually, asshole. Tapping buttons, expecting them to do stuff, and they don't do it until the third game. Hmm. I feel like this. You still 
alive? No, you aren't. The ramp of the vault sealed them in. Damn it! We have to find another way. Well, conveniently placed door. Yeah. Also conveniently placed data pad. Thanks for the free money, Hawk. It's a lot of mechs that I hope they don't turn on, huh? Hey, uh, I can take one of these out the door, right? Can I? Um, what was that? Oh. Max. through. Oh, well, you know what they say. Improvise. Something like that. Whoops. That got it. Looks like they're standing a little too close to the blast zone. Kill Solomon he has no idea that it's actually Commander Shepard. He doesn't sound that smart, but he makes one so sound. I'm trying to take its head off, because if you take a Ymir's head off, it just kind of goes crazy. Huh. I figured that could wipe out both of its buddies. I think you pissed her off with that one. What about you? Maybe. Dead. You're running out of minions, Hawk. This might be useful. Keep them busy. I'll take care of this myself. Sure. Taking dude. cover. We've got company. <laughs> You're not dead? There you are. Cover. 
have loot. Loot. Oh my, how much loot? Oh my, how much loot? Yeah, it doesn't have the same ring to it. Oh, that's it. Oh well. Hey, uh, can I take this with me? Can just take a tank with me? It fits through the door, right? Sure. Let's go. I mean, no way, no without trying. Well, I'll give him one Go thing. Left. He's willing to do his own dirty work. Yeah. Granted, you won't do it alone. Mm. 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 that fights with these troops that want to just take back and this moment. I can't do any peaceful damage on the shield. Least of all when he's shooting at me. You can always tell whenever I try to dodge roll. What did you tell yeah, your friend, friend Kasumi? You're doing this for love? There to our left. Hello. Eh, you can hit the broad side of a barn. Alright, where's hot? Where's the power cells? Power cells. If I can get to the ship, I can take down the shield. Well then do it. What's stopping you? I think I got a bunch of That could have gone better. Let's 
tear that thing apart. You know, she's just a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I was not dodging that. <laughs> Yeah, like, I was just looking at the fish when it's like, at that moment, <laughs> <laughs> That moment, Dark Noob. He fucked up. And that is why I use Barrier. Okay. Next. <sighs> he did say do whatever you like to it. Yeah. So I did. And that concludes our business. Mm -hmm. oh, she looks happy at least. Kasumi, if you're seeing this, I'm dead. The information we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, I've made you a target, my love. I'm so, so sorry. KG. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi. Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I, I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Hmm. What's your thoughts? Can we set the memories? Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. It is what he wants, though. It is, but it's also extremely vi valuable information. Not to mention... She doesn't want to. Yeah, you're right. Keep it. Yeah. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Yeah, I am. I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. <coughs> yeah. Heists were successful. Keiji Okuda's gray box was recovered and remains in Kasumi Goto's possession. Donovan Hawk was killed in the destruction of his gunship. Kasumi is loyal. Note that last phrase. Loyal. We have to mm -hmm. ensure their loyalty. Sounds good. Fun. Well. That was a Fun l Give me a moment. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay. You think I'm gonna walk around wearing this shit? Fred. <coughs> <laughs> it's just like fuck this, no. Thank 
you. That is better. No. Casual appearance. Apply. There we go. Well, that was a nice trip. One loyalty mission down. I don't know how many left. Either way, that was a good. That was, that was a nice, fun heist. Yep. And and next time, we're probably going to be recruiting more. Goodbye.